You are now watching the Witch Reef Live. Yeah, the year. I gotta keep my ear to the streets and see what's going on in Buffalo, New York, chat. I gotta tap into upstate New York. Here's top 10 reasons why Buffalo, New York is one of the worst cities in the USA. Chat, I'm considering going up Buffalo. When I say considering, I'm already locked in, chat. We're going upstate. Let me see what's going on out hey there. Hey, everyone. Welcome. Okay, I don't like her voice. See, now I don't want to go up there no more. Look at this f***ing voice we listening to. Look at this f***ing voice. From the 601 Travels. We've already told That's you. That's the area code, 601? Why Buffalo, New York is a great place in another video. But in this one, we're going to tell you why you should think twice about settling down here and calling it home. Mm. Before we get started, please like this else. Talk to me. Talk 10. to me. Snow. Oh! Does the idea of having to leave extra early to slide around on roads with other drivers who have no idea how to control their vehicle just light a spark inside you that you can't ignore? Mm -mm. Buffalo, New York is one of the snowiest cities in the United States. That's wicked. You can't live there unless you love the little white flakes that continually fall during what seems to be all year round. Annually, you can expect to see at least 85 inches of snow. 85? Compare that to the 28 inch averages in other snowy parts of the country and you'll see how much more they get. From regular systems to lake effect snow, it'll impact every single thing you do in life. And if you aren't prepared or experienced in driving in it, it will be very hard to adjust to. Mm -mm. Number nine, just kind of up there. What? When you think of New York, you I think of New York God. City, but Buffalo isn't even there. remotely close to the Big Apple. As a matter of fact, it's about a six and a half hour drive and you'll pay a lot of money to get there. It's even a it's four hour there. drive if you have to do any kind of business in the state capital of Albany. You're paying for the name of living in New York without the benefits of living in New York, Jesus. if you can call them that. You're a good ways away from other major cities aside from the five boroughs and the closest large city with substance is Toronto, oh which is goodness. in Canada. People have to find everything they need in Buffalo itself and it might not always be there. Number eight, high taxes. Taxes in Buffalo are lower than a lot of other places in New York, but are still considered what high on New Yorkers got going on compared to the national standards. In the city, the rates are manageable, but the suburbs of Buffalo, where all the better schools and less dangerous neighborhoods are, they are very high. The oh city itself has an 8.75% sales busy and keep to themselves. Unfriendly, okay, this is, this is Philadelphia, so that ain't no big deal. I'm used to that. And warm-hearted to those who just decide to move and live here. I think it's something isn't whether there is crime, crime in buffalo i'm from philly i'm not used to that that ain't no big deal drugs yeah i've seen kensington philadelphia that ain't no big deal i've seen that before. school i graduated so nobody care about none of that poverty yeah i've been broke before so i don't know about none of that but before you get there the city has an amazingly high poverty rate of over 31 percent and things are really hard there mm. on average residents make around 30,000 per year which is almost 30 percent lower than the rest they're gonna put bald on the list <laughs> most pedestrians here are bald shut up of the country that's if you're lucky to find a job as over five percent of the population are unemployed Damn! Poverty level in Buffalo is 107% higher than the national average. Damn! And just keeps getting worse every year. Jobs are low paying, but things like rent and insurance are still super high, making it impossible for even working people to make it or get ahead. Number two, roads. What's wrong with the roads? There's not one, but two of the worst highways in the country located right in Buffalo. Oh. Chosen on the criteria of age, condition, design, and redevelopment, they are Route 33 and the Sacagawea Expressway. With the extreme amounts of snowfall Buffalo receives, the plowing really takes a toll on the roads. You can expect to find massive potholes and just Jesus. really unkept conditions throughout the city. 
more so in the rundown neighborhoods where some parts of the roads may be impassable and you'll have to get into another lane to pass. Damage to cars and trucks happen often as tires are popped, rims oh! are bent, and suspension oh! parts wear down. Drivers need to look far ahead to avoid costly problems. Number one, it's New York. See, I ain't the only one that just think New York a dumbass place. See, I'm not the only one. See what I'm saying, chill? Do you see what I'm saying? It is in New York City, thank goodness, but it is still part of New York as a collective. Depending on your political viewpoints, it might seem like living in an actual hell. There are a few other cities and states that are as restrictive, limiting, and controlling as New York. It's right up there with California with its regulations. The government here is corrupt, politicians are routinely caught up in scandals, taxes are high, crime is high, drugs are infiltrating, people are poor, and it snows a lot. There aren't a lot of positive things to really persuade you to live in a city like Buffalo. Most residents here are born into it and are looking to get out. Out of all the 50 states in the United States, New York should really be close to the bottom. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. New York is near the bottom. I'm telling y'all that. But no, when Reese say it, oh, Reese, you don't know about the bodega. I'm telling you, New York is, yeah, goofy. Y'all did it to yourself. Yeah. All the people saying Buffalo is a gym are delusional. This man, is that Jim correctly checked? Because in my brain, I think he put that wrong. I don't know how to tell y'all that, but what the hell? I don't think that's the right Jim. I'm, I am Canadian from Toronto, and my wife come to visit on a regular basis. I disagree. It's not a nice place. I have always found the people to be friendly. I also think there are many things to do in the city. Check yourself. Buffalo such a great city. <laughs> I hate snow, and I wouldn't want to live anywhere else. Oh, my goodness. Check yourself. <laughs> what the fuck is going on with these people? Who the hell tells people somebody to check themselves? Eggs and cheese, or break out of that afternoon. Hello, everyone. This is your daily, daily dose, dose of internet. internet. Play that back. Hello, everyone. This is your daily, daily dose, dose of internet. internet. The waves of the ocean are making these rocks sound like they're breathing. <sighs> There's a man inside them rocks. Oh. Look at what y'all did. Breathing. Waves of the ocean are making these rocks sound like they're breathing. I just think there's a man in there. Tell me. What do you know? That's fake. That's fake. <laughs> but what are we updating on your phone? I'm confused. Well, we're eliminating people. Why? They're dead. <laughs> Grandpa? I mean, Jesus Christ, what do I, how can I call them if they're dead? Scientists found a beetle that can survive being eaten by frogs. The beetle has a 90% chance of surviving the encounter. When the beetle is consumed, the beetle will crawl out the other side after a few minutes. What you mean the other side? The beetle can just crawl out his butt. It did crawl out his butt. I don't even know how that's humanly possible. How you get eaten in the stomach acid of the frog don't digest you. Life is strange. Don't eat it again. Arch, come here, come on. Oh, God. Oh. This wife told her husband to look at the pregnancy test she placed on the table. What? Just... Is that a good reaction or a bad one? That water dirty. This is how quickly marathon swimmers have a meal before getting back to work. 
and watch how quickly he drinks the entire bottle. This is how quickly marathon swimmers have a meal before getting back to work. And watch how quickly he drinks the entire bottle. He just polluted in the ocean. Oh wait, it's on a string. Life is strange. And how did he do that? And why did he say meal? You pose to wait 30 minutes after you eat before swimming. This guy was stuck in traffic, so he started throwing out the garbage from his car into the road. The trucker behind him noticed and got out to clean the mess. When the guy in the car saw this, he immediately drove away. He got scared. He ain't want that smoke. Here's a really cool trick you can do with your phone. This poor little buddy doesn't have a single thought in his head. I found a company that can make paper without cutting down trees. Yes! This company takes the leaves that fall off trees every year and turns them into paper. Why haven't we done this sooner? Okay, can we get some white sheet paper? I thought they meant like for books. What get used more, books or bags? I think bags are more. Yeah, that's like. Bless you. 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 This is called a gyro cutter and it can cut through paper in any direction. Perfect. It's also strong enough to cut through jeans. Perfect. These people try to record themselves at the beach when they were interrupted. That's them two in the future. Life is strange. You see how life works, chat? That is incredible foreshadowing. You see how they in the same exact positioning, in the same colors of drip, they close the same color and all it. Shut up, chat. You get what I was saying. These scientists wanted to show a UMA. what happens when you run more electricity through a wire than it's capable of handling. Three, two, one. Oh. This guy looked up oh. and managed to capture this super lucky event. He was able to see the International Space Station and the Starlink satellites right next to each other in the night sky. And at the same time, the Starlink satellite. Haha, <laughs> jackpot. This bear was super happy to find a swing. That is the end of this video. Hopefully you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you guys again very, very soon. Later. Bears just be chilling. Bears just be bears just be bears just be chilling, chilling. Bears just be chilling.